this lesson, I want to show you how to log into the front end of the site as, you know, a team member or even a client. Okay, so you, what you have here right now, we're going to go over to the login and this is the user that you've already created the logins for and they have access to the site. So this is not someone that's just first coming on the website uh, to log in. So this is the, the username and the password. So I'm going to log in. And I see everything that I saw on the previous screen. Now I want to. See, all right, if you don't see this top section up here where it says "Add Project Tracking Time" and everything, you want to go back to the Users. You want to click to Manage, and you want to locate the person's name. And you want to go to where it says Assign Group, and you want to add them as an author. That's going to give them the permission for them to be able to add projects, milestones, and everything else. If you leave that just at the register level, they won't be able to do anything. They're just gonna be able to see everything on the screen, but they won't be able to comment or check anything. And you go over here, they can go through the time tracking, they can check everything. And if you notice one thing too here is that they can't edit this. So only the project uh, managers or the creator of the site can edit this milestone. So if they, because the reason for that is this is the milestone that you created and you want them to be able to follow this. What they can do, however, is they can leave a comment if they don't have if, if they have a question about this particular milestone and they can go to the time tracking. They can go to the users. This is where all the users are going to show up that are part of the site. They can check out, you know, the designs um, They can get a feel for it. But they can add new designs, but they won't be able to um, to approve or dis, uh, disapprove a design. You have to give certain people permissions for that. And so I showed you, you can create different permission levels. They can come in, take a look at it, leave a comment. They can edit. And the same thing with the uh, with the milestones and with the time tracking. So this is great because they don't have the authority for them to change anything. They just go based on what you've put there. So as the project manager, you have absolute control over what they're able to see and what they are able to do. And the great thing about this is that they can see everything that they need to see and they can make whatever changes and work together and update, leave comments um, and things like that. Okay, so let's move on to the next lesson.